point when I'm too old to yeah, yeah. get back in there. Yeah, obviously, when you're a, like a big heavyweight fight, you can take fights maybe a bit older because it's it's not full of young killers. Uh, so, and I just I think as I say, say it was like quite a bit quite a bit of weight drop, and I think it was only like ten weeks ago. I was like, yeah, I'll take the fight, and that's me. I'm down weight. Mm-hmm. Almost fighting, but I've I been mean, I to answer your question. I was like, I said, no matter what, I'm going to go back down to 77. This was just, I said to a matchmaker, like, what weight I could fight at, and this was the only one that could get me close to the weight I wanted. So yeah. uh, I took it. So I'd rather fight at 77. Uh, I asked for 84, and he says, we've got 82, and I says, that's, that'll do me. Uh, whatever I can get, but yeah, I'd rather fight at 77. Yeah, that's that's like my preferred amateur weight. How about your opponent then? Uh, have you been matched with a killer? What's uh, what's the story with John <laughs> Cooper? What's uh, what's his gimmick? I always seem to get matched by the. I, 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 I just saw my post the the studs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, first f- my first fight I had, I walked out and I had friends in the crowd and they were like they were instantly took the the big guy with the uh, with a bald head and he's like, oh, I'm well, taking him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when that fight, then the next fight is like the guy's guy like a big eight pack. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. And then this fight, obviously, like, guy fr- uh, from the post and stuff, and like got another got another eight pack guy. But that's that <laughs> this evening. Like, I'm in, like, like the glasses. I'm a bit of computer geek and stuff. But when I get in there, it doesn't really like. I don't care who I fight. Like at the gym, I train like we've, it's big guys that train out train mm-hmm. out of the gym. Uh, the other day, I was training with a big guy called Chris. He's fighting on the professional fight the the next night. He's a two hundred and fifty pound heavyweight, wow. uh, who's like a, a, like a, a martial arts champion from like the Philippines, right, uh, right. and I can hold on against him on the ground standing up. It's like I don't like when I get in the untrained stuff. It's like uh, I get into the gym and I enjoy like people say, "Oh, what do you do MMA for?" It's like you don't see like the type of person. I go, oh, I just I enjoy it. It keeps me fit. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I, I look at it as like human chess. It's it's just it's something it to think about, and it's it's a uh, there's always a problem to be solved when you're uh, mm-hmm. when you're doing it, and it's just it's just fun to do. And so, what about uh, Cooper himself? Like in in terms of uh, his fighting, we were talking just prior to the show. I believe he's had one other fight. Have you had a chance to check that out, mate? Um, what's uh, what's yeah, his style there's, or anything? There's, there's not obviously there's like one fight, and uh, it does seem as if he's probably going to be like a more of a stand up striker, but. I took that for granted in my last fight and thought I was training for a kickboxer mm-hmm. and uh, I get put in my back every round when I try to strike with the guy and I don't think I broke a sweat in that last fight I just I couldn't get the like there's some pictures and you see the guy's literally his hand wrapped around my waist and got me and I, the fight probably should have been stopped it stood up so many times but it's like the guy had his hands against my waist pushed me against the cage and I, I just couldn't get up mm-hmm. uh, and, and it happened every round and it was quite annoying and that's another reason why I wanted to take back to fight and I thought I said to myself I'm never I'm, like, I'm not going out and not going to fight again yeah uh, we're getting wait, that, that'd, be, that'd be my last fight so but yeah like I'm expecting a striker but uh, it's, it's it's amateur fights you, you get into the gym and you're training for everything you're, there's, you've not got a like a library of fight tape to sit and watch, so it's you've got to just go in there and train and hope for the best. And so, I, I guess I know you're kind of saying you you you, you want to kind of mix everything up, but um, is there a game plan for for like uh, going into this fight? Or do you do you just want to uh, not cover all areas? I guess is what I'm asking, Don. Do you just go in and, and do the stand up, do the grappling, do the groundwork, take it all with you into the cage and you're training for this fight? Yeah, pretty much. Like obviously, every fight starts on the feet, so we're going. Uh, guy's obviously a strong striker. I'm not stupid. If I get in, if like if I get in trouble on the feet, I'm not going to uh, drop my hands and try and get into like a <laughs> yeah. a swinging battle with somebody yeah. that's uh, beat me up. Uh, yeah. if, if if I'm getting beat up, I'll try and uh, slow it down a bit and maybe bring it more into my world. Try and get a bit of grappling done and uh, and see how that feels. But yeah, I like to like I like to keep keep fights on the feet and I do like to strike. But if it does go to the ground or Against the cage wall or anything like that, I'm I'm happy to do anything really. Fair play, mate. Usually for a Scottish show on top, we see you guys at Fight Talk Scotland, obviously covering the show. So does this mean what you'll be on double duty weekend? Friday gloves on, Saturday gloves off, or what's the deal? No, yeah, no, yeah, that's the thing. I'm a uh, Friday night uh, fighting, uh, Saturday night I'll be back up there uh, covering Pro- the show. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, well, I, I say that it, it depends, like obviously anything can happen. If I fight, so I say it's uh, like body permitting. Like yeah, if I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I get knocked out cold and I'm a bit dizzy the next day, I'll, I'll, I'll see. But yeah, I'm planning to go back up there. We're obviously 
like saying, oh, who's coming the, the fights on the Friday night? And it's like, oh, and I was like, oh, we'll hopefully find somebody. And then it was like, have you organised your like, your ticket for the Saturday? And I was like, oh, I totally forgot. I've been, <laughs> I've been, that, I've been, that, I've been that focused on yeah. getting my fight done. And uh, just in the back of my head, it's been like, yeah, I'll be up there on the Saturday, but I forgot to organise things. But yeah, that's all done. Uh, I've got a seat and stuff for that ready for the Saturday night. But I th- I'm actually looking forward to it because obviously I'll be covering the show, but it'll be good to go up having, like, I think a two night show obviously don't get done very often but no. it can be a good atmosphere you go to the first night like amateur fights kind of a lot of, you can get a lot of good fights in the amateur the up and comers but then you get you get ready for the professional fights and mm-hmm. it'll be a good uh, it's definitely a good build up uh, the, the, the amateur show and then the professional the next night definitely and obviously you've been focused on your weight cut like you said just training preparation for the fight but uh, have you had a chance to see much of the uh, the guys on the car particularly the professionals like you were saying what, what fights are, are catching your eye for Saturday mate Oh, we've, we've like I've been obviously I've been training and stuff. There's a uh, one of the guys for the gym, Chris. Uh, he's fighting. He's not been like with like I've not saw him like I hadn't been training for a while, mm-hmm. and uh, like like I well, had been training, but I hadn't been doing obviously the way I'm doing just now, like twice a day and stuff. But going and, and along the gym and like this, he's a big guy, and I kind of heard him. He, he's kind of his skills and it's obviously span with him. Like. This guy's really good, and then uh, I found out he was fighting the next night professional. It'll be good to actually see him get a proper fight. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to him, but I haven't actually looked too much at the card yet. I think it's just I always seem to do that with uh, just the way I cover fights. I, I wait closer to the time, mm-hmm. and then I get in because obviously you, you know yourself. There's like there's there's UFC and MMA. There's like shows every week. That's right. And uh, if you start if you start to start analysing a card like three or four weeks before it, you you just get lost by the time the card actually comes. So like yeah. like I will usually start looking like closer. So I'm, I'm probably good, like we know UFC the this weekend. There's Cage Warriors tonight. So I'll probably actually sit and browse the card and get my get my stuff ready for the Saturday <laughs> night uh, tonight. Just so I can I don't need to don't need to worry about it when I'm uh, obviously my last week of training. Don't want to go yeah. too heavy, but you got you got to keep your body warm. Uh, keep it a sweat and obviously lose that last k- kilogram and a half. Yeah, let's do some uh, some training whilst you're uh, <laughs> what sitting in front of the laptop just have it on the head uh, <laughs> of the treadmill. We could do that. Uh, the mic. I meant to actually get you, uh, you hear people say that like they've got like a gaming treadmill and stuff like I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've got a bike and I kept meaning to turn, like just basically like if I'm binging on Netflix, I show Netflix is just sit on the bike and just kind of <laughs> pedal. Yeah. But I've, I've still to do that, yeah. I've not, I've not went to that extreme. That could be a new invention. I think you should patent that and take it into the <sighs> or something. With the amount of weight I've had to lose, I thought it probably uh, uh, it would have been a good idea. But I've, <laughs> my, I'm surprised. Like, I'm not surprised I've lost this much weight. I've I've lost a bunch of weight for fights before. Uh-huh. Uh, just my weight was getting high, and it's the perfect. I think I've just it's the perfect way to to lose it because no. it was. Because I was obviously 77 is my weight. Cl- I like, that's a weight class I like to fight at. My first fight was 84, and then the next two were at 77, and I like. I like 77, but the, yeah. for, uh, the time frame I had, 77 was out the window, 8, 82. Like, I'll make that uh, bang on probably like, uh, maybe Wednesday or something. I'll be sitting at 82, and that'll be mm-hmm. that'll be me good to go. Excellent. No, fair play, mate. That's really good stuff. Um, Don, it's been a pleasure to get your time uh, on the show. It's still so bizarre we've had you in, in this role, uh, but best of luck uh, come fight night, sir. And uh, we look forward to seeing you compete at, at On Top's weekend. Thanks a lot. I'm sure we're back on the show on the other side of the seat again. And- <laughs> Thanks very much. Mate. Hello and welcome to the Martial Arts Chat Podcast. If you're into martial arts, whether it's jiu-jitsu, taekwondo, wrestling or MMA, then check out Martial Arts Chat Podcast on iTunes and on Spreaker. I'm loving it every day. We talk with all the big names in the sports every month and also have our panel discussions on the MMA Roundtable. At what weight class? Any division. You're throwing some tough ones out there, John Boy. <laughs> That's a real yeah. curveball. Eh? <laughs> so join me, your host, John Boy McElroy, on Martial Arts Chat Podcast on Spreaker and on iTunes, or visit facebook.com forward slash martial arts chat. Coverage and build for On Top's Weekender this Friday and Saturday. And I'm pleased to say we have returning to the show Mr. On Top himself, James Lake. And James, it's a pleasure to have you back on the Martial Arts Chat Podcast, sir. Thanks so much, John. It's uh, great to be back. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Before we get into this, um, some fights individually, uh, as we mentioned there, James, this is a, a weekend of fights with amateurs on the Friday and the professionals taking place on the Saturday. How did this uh, idea all come about, sir, and, and how's it shaping up for this weekend? Well, the idea was kind of mentioned a couple of years ago, to be honest. 
uh, it was just something that we we didn't follow through with at the time. Um, we wanted to, you know, make sure we had the right dates, the right venue, and uh, make sure that, that, that we had enough fighters for for the shows. Really, um, yeah. the scene the scene in general uh, on the pro side was pretty quiet uh, for a while. A lot of guys were getting signed up by big promotions organisations. So, you know, we wanted to wait for the right time. We saw an opportunity. We had dates available at the venue that we're, you know, we're obviously uh, doing our shows at, which is in Linwood. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we just thought, if, give it a go, see how it works. And, you know, if it, if it, if it doesn't work, it's fine. You know, we can go back to the, the standard sort of setup, mm-hmm. uh, event style. But, yeah, I thought, I thought it would be a good thing for, for the fans, you know? Yes, absolutely. Offering something different each night. You know, some people just maybe go to support their friends or their family members. But, you know, we were trying to sort of maybe get guys there that would attend both shows, you know, um, or if they're traveling from, from far, you know, can maybe stay the weekend mm-hmm. and, you know, sort of soak up soak up both the shows, really. So, yeah, so on that, on that side, that's kind of how it came about. With regard to how it's going, yeah, it's, it's going it's going fine. It's it is a bit different doing two shows in two days, and I'm sure <laughs> over the next few days it will be even more challenging than it already has been. Will you get your standard uh, sort of pullouts and things like that, injuries replacements, things like that? You always have to contend with whilst trying to obviously make sure that everything's set in place and all the logistics is is there. Um, so yeah, it's going it's going okay. It's going not too bad. So, and it's uh, certainly going to make for an interesting weekend of fights. Let's look at um, Friday then. Uh, some honourable mentions and contests we're looking forward to is a good friend of the show, Don Wilson, taking on John Cooper, uh, and another friend of ours, Sean Weir, is taking on Caleb Cam. What can you tell us and the fans on some of the fights to be watching out for during uh, Friday's uh, amateur bout, sir? Yeah, I mean, there's some great fights on the on the Friday, and the the numbers are looking pretty good actually with sort of sales and ticket sales. So we're out, we're hoping a busy a busy night. We're hoping obviously the place will be. Um, Will be sort of, you know a good atmosphere there um, for for the guys. And so I think it's always good for the fighters to have you know a busy on the night to to sort of make make the whole sort of experience good for them. Yeah. Uh, the main event will be Sean McAnally versus Johnny McKillop. Uh, we've made that into a, an amateur welterweight title fight. Nice. We we had a kind of spare belt sitting there, so I thought yeah, let's just do a let's just do it, you know, for, the, for this one. So Sean's a, a fairly local lad from Clydebank. Johnny's coming over from cross combat in Edinburgh. Johnny's been on the show before, uh, as Sean has. So it's both, both guys that we we know of, and we know they're both guys who bring it, and they train very very hard. So you know we wanted to sort of reward them for that. So hopefully yeah, that'll be a great fight for the main event. And looking ahead to the uh, professionals, now obviously you have um, the main event there with Ross Houston taking on uh, Thomas Jenny Jesse, excuse me. Um, originally obviously scheduled as Alan Johnson but an exciting contest nonetheless what can fans expect from this one sir? Yeah so I mean the, the way this one came about quickly give you a bit of sort of backstory on it Ross was due to fight um, another guy from, from Ireland and obviously Alan Johnson was supposed to be fighting for the title so yeah. Alan got um, injured and literally on the same day Ross's opponent pulled out so it kind of came about pretty pretty nicely for us, you know. Mm. It kind of fell fell into our hands, as it were. <laughs> so we we mentioned to Ross, you know, you, do you fancy it? How, you, you obviously, you know, he bit a hand off at it. He uh, he's eager, I think, to to prove that he's he's one of the best pros in Scotland. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's 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 a that's a great fight there, and you know, hopefully Alan has a speedy recovery, and we could, you know, get him. Maybe he can take the next shot of the belt when he's uh, when he's back to. You know, to 100 percent fitness. Yeah, um, I think it's it's two guys who you know, one guy's three and one, one guy's two and zero. Oh, I think they're yeah. both guys who like to have exciting fights. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we were talking sort of prior to the show with Thomas and with Ross. Um, you know, they've they've both got great submission games, but they're certainly both looking for finishes. And that's uh, like, like you said, James. That makes for uh, nothing but an exciting fight uh, come Saturday. Besides the main events, sir, what other fights can you tell the on top fans to be looking out for? Looking out for it. so pro. There, there, there's a bit, I mean, there's some great fights on there. There, there. You know, we've got some heavyweight fights there. Everyone loves a, a heavyweight fight. We've got Chris Marvin Thompson Brooks. He fights out of Wasabama in Asia, and he fights Callum Cook from Team Fish Tank in Sunderland. So, you know, two big guys going at it. Good, you know, they've got good pro records. 
I think that will be an exciting one for the fans, definitely. And we've also got Aidan Stephen. He he main evented our, our previous show, 